Hey guys, how's it going and welcome to another tutorial on Android. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to add the ripple effect on a button or any other Android view for that matter. So if you basically, um, you know, in your Android project, if you basically just go ahead and add a simple button uh, with some of the basic properties such as uh, you have provided like the width, height, then the text that would be displayed on the button, then ID and then some uh, position. Uh, parameters but here what we haven't done is we haven't provided any background or any color property to the button so when you basically add a button in the um, most primitive or the um, basic way then what you can notice is when you click on the button then there is a slight ripple effect on it so whenever you click on it as you can notice right here um, there is a ripple that is traveling throughout the whole button and which basically uh, gives a very uh, pleasing effect to the eye as it sort of uh, gives like a feedback uh, when it when the user presses the button however the problem is uh, when you basically add a color property or the background property to the button such as let's say I make the button pink then what the problem is now if you will run your app then um, let's say uh, you search for something and then hit on the button then what you would notice now is that there is no ripple effect happening in the button and sort of uh, there is no feedback uh, kind of thing that um, would be desirable from the developers point of view so how to get that ripple effect back without uh, using a lot of code or um, brainstorming a lot and the easiest way that I found in my experience is to set a foreground property to the button so basically you just go ahead and set the foreground and then question mark attribute and then selectable item background borderless so this would this attribute would uh, add the foreground to the button that would have the property of um, the ripple effect so now that the app is back online, um, by the way, this app basically was made to search for the birthdays of famous celebrities using Wikipedia, but it's, it isn't complete yet. So it's just a rough layout of that. So let's say we enter this celeb name and now if we click on the submit button, then you would notice that there is a ripple effect back here. So just adding this foreground property added the ripple effect back. And by the way, um, if you can notice here, then this is for some reason coming in red as in there is some error, but I'm not sure why this is happening. Probably some glitch in my Android Studio because it's still working uh, appropriately. And um, today I noticed it and basically in all my projects, this attribute is coming as red. So I'm not sure what is up with that. So basically that's it. That's how you add a ripple to any button or any view for that matter. It can be a text view, it can be any other thing. So all you need to do is provide a foreground. So background can be the color that you want and then foreground would be this transparent ripple effect on the view. So I hope you guys um, found this tutorial useful and enjoyed it. And in case you have any questions or doubts, then leave, leave them in the comment section down below. And if you liked it, then don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and have a great day.